Well, let's go to Jason in Arizona listening on the Catholic Answers Live app. Jason, thanks for downloading the app onto your phone. Your question for Jimmy. Yeah, um, I was just curious. In the book of Acts, um, I think it's around the chapter 10 area, um, there's mention there, and I think elsewhere also, of people having been baptized only in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I was just curious why it wasn't a uh, formal baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, it may have been. Now, actually, the formulas that Luke uses vary from one instance to another. Sometimes they'll say baptized in the name of Jesus. Sometimes they'll say baptized in the name of the Lord, things like that. Um, But they may well have been Trinitarian baptisms with the full Trinitarian formula. There were multiple different forms of baptism that were in use in uh, this time period. I mean, to cite the two ones that we're most familiar with today, there's John's baptism and Christian baptism, but there were other baptisms too. And so when Luke is talking about these, he occasionally needs to give an indication of which one he's talking about. And it would be rather cumbersome if he needed to recite the full Trinitarian formula every time he mentions Christian baptism, if every time he wanted to talk about Christian baptism, he had to say, baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You know, that's a lot of verbiage. And so when you have a lot of words, it would have to get repeated for various reasons, including reasons of style and actually reasons of keeping your book short in the ancient world because books were fantastically expensive, um, they would do things to shorten it up. And so the distinctive thing about Christian baptism, as opposed to John's baptism or Essene baptisms or Jewish proselyte baptisms or even Mithraite Torabulium baptisms, is that... um, Easy for you to say. (laughs) is that it's connected with Jesus. And so it rather than recite the full Trinitarian formula, which may have been used on those occasions, Luke could simply just say, baptized in the name of Jesus, because he's the one that's distinctive uh, in this baptism, as opposed to, say, John's baptism, when, which what's distinctive about that is John did it, and so it gets called John's baptism. 